Hi, everyone. I'm excited to be here today to talk to you about some of the miracle stories that are happening right here in our own city, in our own state, every day. My name is Tony Kosha, and the title of our show is Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles. Please note, uh, this show is not about religion, and we're not trying to change anyone's religion, and we're not trying to get you to join any religion. Uh, It's just about miracle stories. I don't know of any religion on the planet that doesn't talk about miracles. Uh, That's why religions begin, because they have something that's telling them there's really a God. But we're not going to get into that. We're going to just talk about miracles and leave the decisions about all that up to you. So we don't care what religion you are. Uh, We just want to talk about miracles. Uh, If you are an atheist, uh, I think you'll enjoy the program as well, although I can't guarantee you'll remain an atheist very long after you hear uh, many, many convincing stories, uh, coincidence kinds of stories about miracles. Uh, You can email me your own stories if you wish. Um, We'll try to use all we can on the show. I can't guarantee we will, depending on volume and time. But you're welcome to send your stories on to us, and we will mention them when we can. Uh, You can send them to the following email address. Um, uh, But please notice that if we do use your story, we won't mention your name. We'll keep you anonymous. And we suggest that in your story, when you send it to us, don't use your correct name. That way, anyone listening will not be able to figure out that it was you that sent the story in. Uh, The email address you can send your stories to uh, is very easy to remember. It consists of two words and three numbers. The first word is Tony, spelled T-O-N-Y. And the second word is and, spelled A-N-D. And the numbers are 777. So once again, the name is Tony and 777 at AOL.com. Well, let us begin. This is week number 33, and I remind you, as usual, you might want to grab a pencil and paper to make some notes. Um, (coughs) The point I'd like to begin with today is how life, sometimes life, when we try to categorize it and think what is life like and what what am I going through, you know, we can think we're on a treadmill, and that was the, the discussion last week. Uh, We could think everything is rosy, everything is wonderful, the job is great, life is great. Uh, But sometimes life seems as though we're in a boxing ring and we're boxing with a a heavyweight champion and uh, we, we need to know when to duck, when to punch, when to get up, when to stay down. We need to ask a lot of things and follow instructions. You know, these are the times where we're going through life where we have to make a lot of decisions. I mean, sometimes in one day you get hit with five or six things to decide. So we've all gone through those, and we forget that we need to remember we have a great coach in our corner, um, God himself, and we're able to talk to him and ask him what to do. So we never give up on that premise. Um, All of the bases for Coincidence Miracles and the bases for my book, Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles, and the basis for this radio show is that each one of us can talk to God and hear God. And my book explains it, and my past uh, weekly radio broadcasts have explained it as also. So if you're not doing that, then you need to start doing that. And you'll find, like the rest of us are, that God really does answer us in many, many diverse ways. All we need to do is ask the question and ask for help and ask questions, and he will figure out how to get the answer to us. And when life seems tough sometimes, just remember you're in a boxing ring, and you need to punch when you're told to punch and duck when you're told to duck. And at the end of the um, challenge, you'll be... uh, you know, in some other kind of state, another different kind of a day. But sometimes you have to behave like you've got to follow what the coach is telling you to do step by step and quickly. You don't have a lot of time to decide when he says duck, duck. Well, along the same lines, uh, the first uh, coincidence miracle I'd like to share with you was on a particular day in my life. Uh, I was thinking about 
the things that I've been doing and trying to measure some success for the effort I've been putting in. And I don't want to complain uh, to you about it because I had a miracle in the process, so I'm not complaining. But I was thinking about the effort I put in on various things, like writing two books now, giving a lot of lectures, uh, passing out cards to people, running ads in papers, uh, running Facebook and LinkedIn, uh, telling a lot of people word of mouth, uh, doing a lot of things to promote the books and uh, promote the benefits of the, the whole theory behind everything and my mission. My mission for God is to help everybody realize they can have discussions with God and to do it and have a much better life. You may not have a life that is stress-free, but you'll have a life that's much better than if you're trying to go it alone when you can walk with God. If you just think for 60 seconds, uh, would you rather walk with God or never walk with God? And then if, you, if you're going to say, well, sometimes, then you need to really think about why do you want to just do it sometimes? Okay, so the first story then is in that case. I was having a bad day. I was moaning about the success, the the obvious success, the fruits of my labor, and I wasn't adding up. Uh, I wasn't get all, getting a lot of things on the credit side. I put in a lot of effort, but I didn't see a lot of benefit. I see benefit, but you know, at this particular day, like I said, I'm not complaining to you about it, but. You all have these moods, and the devil helps us, and the devil really, you know, becomes our cheerleader, and we're, when we're moaning and groaning, he's saying, yeah, that's right, yeah, that's right, why bother, why bother? So that was going on. So I asked God, I, we have to talk to God about everything, so I said, God, give me a break, what do I do? He said, Tony, go take a walk in the park. He told me what park to go to. He made it pretty clear to me that I've done this very often in my past, walk it off, take a walk, you know, go for a walk, you get away from your mood, and uh, it's just good therapy, go for a walk in the park. So I took off, went for a walk in the park, and I was still moaning to him and talking to him on the way over. So I get to the park, and I'm walking around, and I'm still moaning, walking around, but I'm getting exercise, I'm getting fresh air, and I'm thinking, you know, uh, that a lot of the things I did, perhaps, I must have made some mistakes because I don't see the fruits of my labor, and just then, I looked up. I had been walking with my head down, but I looked up, and straight in front of me was this woman waving at me with both hands. She was coming in my direction, and when she got close to me, she said, Tony, I'm so glad to see you. Uh, I haven't seen you here in a while, and you know, I did read both of your books. I have to tell you, Tony, totally changed my life. I'm having discussions with God all the time, and she shared a lot of other things. She started telling me about her coincidence, miracles, and I'll tell you, I was like, uh, I was like butter just melting there because it was really what I needed. And um, this was another coincidence, miracle par excellence in my life because, as you just heard, I moan to God. He tells me to go for the walk in the park. I go for the walk in the park, which is perfectly timed. You know, an hour later or an hour, an hour sooner, I would have not seen this person. She comes over and she's telling me in spades how these two books have changed her life. And for those of you who don't know, the title of the book is Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles. And you write the number out, 50000, Tony's 50,000 Coincidence Miracles. But there's a book one and a book two. And book one is a blue book and book uh, two is a red book. All right, so that was a great uh, coincidence miracle and one, one I call par excellence because you can see the finger of God moving like he was playing chess with me and my joy was uh, a, a thousand times greater than my negativity when I began to go for my walk. The next coincidence miracle happens to be associated with all the times you've been hearing me about, uh, you know, I, I pass out cards to people I see. Uh, when I'm inspired to, I carry a, a bunch of uh, cards with me, like business cards. They're very small. They talk all about the book and talk all about the mission um, and tell people what to Google. And so I pass them out as I'm inspired. And uh, one particular day, uh, I went to another beach uh, uh, resort location, uh, walked along the boardwalk, and I was inspired. I saw a, a couple walking toward me. 
uh, in the crowd. It was a very busy day, lots of people, but I saw this couple approaching me, and I was inspired. Tony, give them a card. So I stopped and said, hello, I just wrote a book, and very light touch, very briefly, I handed them a card. They were fascinated. They wanted to ask some questions, so we started talking. And I convinced them, you know, of the fact that you have to talk to God or you, you won't hear him. And uh, God is always there. He could do anything, et cetera, et cetera, as you've all been hearing. Uh, and just then I realized that they had their family behind them. They had uh, two sons and two daughters with them. And we were all there together. And I didn't realize everybody was listening in. And the reason why this was very coincidental and very providential is because they were all listening in. And I got some questions now from all six of the people and then I learned in all this process of talking to them for a while the bottom line was and I could see why God had me hand in the card their son was being deployed to a hot spot on the planet earth uh, being deployed in the armed forces and they were extremely concerned about his welfare and so he was benefiting he was asking a lot of questions and they were as well about you know the presence of God and uh, well, you know, why are wars and why do people have to go off to war and and what do you do in this situation and what do you recommend? And so they were getting as a family a lot of input on that and and it's, it seemed as though what God was inspiring me to say was helping them very much. They thanked me very, very much uh, and they assured me they were going to get a copy of the book and uh, have their son take it with him on his deployment uh, because the book is available at Barnes & Noble and uh, Amazon. And you can get it within 24 hours if you call. All right, so that was a wonderful, another par excellence, in my opinion. The next coincidence miracle uh, has to do with numbers. Uh, The number 777, three sevens is the number associated with God. When we see three sevens, we think of God's permission, his protection, his participation. Three Ps, permission, participation, um, and presence, and power. and he inspired me to run a certain errand and take a certain road, actually he told me to drive a certain way. So I, I do that. I ask which roads to take when I can take several ways to get somewhere. And this was a country road. And I got to the end of the country road at a red light. I stopped and I looked across the other side and the car on the other side had three sevens. So I was really blessed by that and I often am because I realized God sent me on that particular road and he knew that car was gonna arrive at the exact moment that it arrived. So the perfect timing. And I really see this uh, almost, almost once a day I have one of these experiences. So I know that this is God's way of showing me uh, that the car is you know he knew the car was going to be there so when the light turned green i turned left and as i turned left the very first car i see coming down the road on the other side also actually was stopped and it stopped for the red light and it also had 777 so this was another par excellence example of god had two cars arrive there you know he had to drive he had to get them to drive at a certain speed Uh, to be in their cars at a certain moment. I had to drive at a certain speed, and God had to orchestrate this whole thing. And as I say, this happens to me almost once a day. Uh, So I'm positive it's God. I mean, this has been happening for years in my case. Uh, The next story is that on another day, I did another errand for God. And when I got home and I got into my driveway, I looked at my odometer, which tracks all the miles on the car, and it had the last three numbers were 777. So once again, God showing me I was exactly where I should be over the last two years, driving where I should be over the last two years. So all my miles would add up to this, at the end of a trip for him, 777. God bless you all. I will talk to you all next week.